Hey, it's Mark Podolsky, the Land Geek, from your favorite niche real estate website, thelandgeek.com. And on this week's Art of Passive Income podcast, I have the CEO of Rivix. Now, it's Antonio Rivodo. You're like, wait, what is Rivix? Well, first of all, let me talk about Antonio. So Antonio has eight plus years of business experience as an entrepreneur. He handles the marketing, lead generation, he's an automation expert. But what Rivix does is they provide passive income opportunities with a done-for-you business model in the trucking and logistics industry. Antonio, welcome. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for that intro. So, uh, Antonio, what's trucking automation? Ah, trucking automation, man. It's actually a new, unique and hot way of just getting into the trucking industry without having to have all the know-how and the and the knowledge and the relationships and the and the just the the, the grunt work that you got to do to go ahead and really build a trucking business. So it's it's a pretty unique concept that you know wasn't originated by me, but definitely perfected by me. So uh, you know, about two years ago, I was actually referring uh, clients um, to another automation company based out of Orlando, and you know, I was very intrigued when I heard of the concept of trucking automation. I was like, dude, what is this? How does it work? You know, what are we doing here? And when I ended up going ahead and referring my clients to that business, I was kind of just like immersing myself in the trucking industry at that point. Uh, I ended up finding out that company was just kind of screwing over the clients that I was going ahead and sending towards them. So, you know, in that moment, I'm a 20, uh, 25 year old uh, kid that just, you know, is trying to build his way into a hedge fund space or you know, private equity space and just building a relationship with investors that, I didn't want to go down that way. I didn't want to go down as the person that made a referral and to a bad investment. And that's the first way I started. And that's the last imprint I was going to have with those investors. So, you know, I took it as a personal responsibility to go ahead and just, you know, come out of pocket, you know, put the entire business structure together for my uh, clients. And then, you know, really just build a trucking business from scratch and just really go ahead and just do this business for them and just take all the learning lessons from the beginning and just go ahead and really build this and just, do the right thing, in my opinion. So that's how this really started. But trucking automation as a whole, what we do for our clients is we go ahead and we help you secure a truck. We help you secure a trainer, a driver, all the documentation you need for your truck. We basically get you road ready. Then once we get you road ready, we onboard you to our logistics company and then we'll manage your truck and your operation for you on the day-to-day -day basis. Okay? Think about this as, as a property management firm, but for trucks. A property so management like firm, but for trucks. Okay, so let's walk through a a case study i want to go i want to be in, in the trucking industry but i've never driven a truck sure but why well let's just start with why do i want to be in the truck sure. industry why do i want to be in logistics well it's not a matter of logistics in a sense it's more of you know what are you doing to diversify your portfolio what are you doing to go ahead and leverage your money you know are you only in real estate are you only in stocks you know, everything, can, everything yields a return, you know, but it's a matter of, it's not this or that. It's a matter of like, why don't we try all of it? Why don't we do a little bit of everything? Okay. So, uh, the majority of my clients are real estate investors, maybe because I come from a real estate background. I do real estate for over five years. Um, you know, in that career in real estate, my job was to go ahead and, you know, talk to my investors, ask them, what are you guys looking for? They'll tell them, they'll give me their criteria. I go out and market for those properties. I talk to the distressed homeowners. I put the entire deal together. I go ahead and help secure the financing for my investors. And then boom, put the deal on the plate. Deal gets closed, move on to the next deal. And then if they needed me to, I'll find the property management firm and get it done for them or they can go ahead and manage that property on a day-to-day -day basis for them as well. So I come from a very tailored background in the real estate industry. Now, what that told me was that the majority of investors, what they want to do is just want to put their money to work. They want to go ahead and put their money to work with the least amount of hassle as possible. And basically, that's what I did here in the trucking industry. I created a program where we can go ahead and put a truck on the road. You know, we can go ahead and put the entire business model together and then we can manage it for these investors. And at the end of every month, you know, we should we send them a PL with the entire breakdown of the results that we created for them for the last 30 days. And then we send them to the uh to their direct to their bank account, the net profits of their truck, you know, basically creating mailbox money. And what that kind of opened up was, you know, it helped investors understand that there's alternative investments that they can start looking for and not just solely depend on real estate or stocks or, or whatever is out there right now. 
you know, it's just an opportunity that yields a great return. Yes, it's a little bit more high risk. Yes, it's a little bit more, you know, left field, but it's still a great return that you're seeing. You know, your money can easily make you an extra 18 to 40% a year. Okay, so so you get an 18 to 40% return. I assume yeah. we're getting depreciation of the truck. Of course. What is the risk? It, the risk is that your truck could break down. And that's just the real of it. That's just that's just me being one hundred percent transparent. The real of it is that uh you try to break down. You know, some of the cash flow that you've generated, maybe you can be on pace to make thirty five percent, you know, in a year, but a breakdown could cost you a couple thousand and it takes you from thirty five percent down to twenty one percent. Maybe. That's a yeah, possibility. Yeah, but Antonio knows no one's gonna get bad at you twenty one percent. And that's what I'm here to educate people. Okay, so Let's. What's been the the best return that you've seen for oh. someone, and what's been the worst return you've seen in the past? Uh, let's say, say twelve months. Sure. So actually, I just closed out one of my clients' reports where year to year return he made sixty two percent. Wow! And why did he have such a good return? Chuck didn't break down that much. It was very it was very well maintained. Um. Is that a case for everybody? No, absolutely not. I'm going to be 100% transparent and say, no, that's not the case for everybody. Uh, that's why I said that the average would be anywhere from 18 to 40% because that's a realistic term. That's a realistic number. Uh, worst case scenario was I had a client that was on pace to do about 31%, but then her engine blew and it cost her you know, an extra $12,000 to fix that engine. And it took her from you know, what was going to be her percentage, about 30, something, 30 plus percent down to about 8% profitability. Okay. But that's, that's a unique circumstance. I don't buy trucks where that happens. Can, can that happen? Yes. I'm going to say yes. Cause it, it did happen, but will that happen? Will that be a commonality? No. Okay. So do I have to be an accredited investor? No, you don't. Because you're not imbe- you're not making an in- an investment in me, you're making an investment in your own trucking business. You're just hiring me as a trucking operator to go ahead and manage your operations for you. And so, as a trucking as a trucking operator, is yeah. there risk with the driver? Isn't there risk with the loads? I mean, for sure. Sure. Yeah. So I mean, there's risks of your load can go bad and you get a claim. How often does that happen? Maybe once or twice a year. And I'm talking about in a fleet of a hundred plus trucks like ours, that doesn't really, like one or two times a year isn't really that big of a situation. It's kind of like your truck, you know, engine blowing. It's, can that happen? And yes, it can happen, but will it happen? Most likely not. Um, drivers, you know, obviously, you know, drivers are, Part of the biggest, probably the biggest risk inside of a truck, because that quality of driver will determine the kind of profitability and the kind of uh, sustainability of your truck. But you know, we do a very good thorough ch- background check on all of our drivers. You know, we don't hire drivers that have less than two years of experience. We don't hire drivers that have bad connotations on their license. We don't hire drivers that have ever been in any accidents, like anything fatal. You know, maybe a little bumper, you know, bumper hit here and there. Yeah, we'll take you, but. You know, if it's something major, we won't take that driver. You know, we're we're here, we're doing our due diligence to go ahead and put the best kind of drivers behind all these all these trucks. Okay, so as an investor, I get the benefit of depreciation on the truck. Yeah, and as an that, as a, as a, yeah, go ahead. Sorry, I'm sorry for interrupting, but uh, as an investor, you're getting a bunch of benefits. You're getting the benefits of writing off. Uh, well, this year it just changed. Now you only get ninety percent of the entire purchase price of your truck. Um, you're also getting an elite team to go ahead and manage your operations for you. You know, you you have people that have nine to 15 years of experience, uh, in the trucking and logistics industry on your team, just because you're part of this big fleet, you gain access to the kind of clientele that, that works with us just because, you know, we have the size of the fleet that we have, you know, the, the biggest reason why carriers are why these small carriers are struggling and why they come and knock on our door every week is because they understand the reality of what their situation looks like, which is, you know, these big shippers, you know, the people that are actually paying 
high profitability loads, they don't want to work with hundreds of carriers that have one to four truck, one to 12, one to 20 trucks. They want to work with five carriers that have a hundred plus trucks. And that's what they're looking for. So by coming up, by coming under our team, you know, you gain access to these clients, you gain access to these, these type of shippers without having to pay these insane broker fees that these brokers are charging. And, you know, there's so many benefits to working with us. You get access to our fuel cards, you get access to our, our factory, you get access to our, our relationships, you get access to our mechanics, you get access to our yards, you get access to our services. You know, there's so many tools that we give, you know, all of our clients, owner operators that want to come aboard Rivex, you know, that just puts you in a position to win, you know, and, and especially in a season right now where, you know, winning is so essential, winning is so imperative for this industry because these brokers are, and I'm not trying to shoot shots out here, but these brokers are really squeezing out these carriers because they want to like line up their pockets. And I'm all fair. And, you know, everybody's here to make money, but you know, it needs to be a fair game. And, you know, coming from someone that doesn't have, you know, all these years of experience in trucking, I'm coming from a business background and I'm just trying to reshape that identity, reshape the, the fact that like, you know, we can't all win. So why not everybody come under one roof, let's collaborate together, let's build one major corporation and let's go after those chippers where we can all put ourselves in position to win. So what is the management fee for you to manage my truck? 8%. So you take 8%. So walk me through a typical monthly sure. P&L. Sure. So our P&Ls get, break, uh, first things first, you're going to see a breakdown of every single load that was acquired for the month. So you will have a gross revenue of anywhere between 24,000 to 30,000, depending on how many days it was on the road. Okay. Then in the breakdown, you're also going to have what we paid for fuel, what we paid for the driver, who was your driver, what was the average rate per mile we achieved for every single load. Um, then on the left side, you're going to have monthly expenses like your trainer, your insurance, uh, your yard costs, your any maintenance things that we had over the road. Um, what else? What else am I, am I missing? Uh, GPS, uh, GPS for your trainer, um, bookkeeping. If you hire our bookkeepers to go ahead and manage the books for you on a monthly basis. And then on the other side, you're going to have our 8% that we charge. Our 8% is, is our management fee. You know, a lot of people charge 8% just for dispatching, just to book you a load. No, 8%, you get my entire infrastructure. Okay. I may, I'm very competitive. I'm I'm probably more than competitive in the industry and I did it on purpose. I did it so that people won't understand like, hey, I'm really trying to build something here. I'm really trying to build something where we can all win. You know, with new markets, with new market conditions need to be adjustments. And a lot of these people aren't making the adjustments because they don't want to make less money. But instead of, you know, making the adjustment, finding another way to make money, they're just going ahead and squeezing out their carriers as much as possible. So I did that on purpose. But uh, it, you're going to see by 8%, uh, you're going to see my factoring, the factoring fee that we charge to go ahead and bring in the cash flow through the business every single month. And then you'll see your net profits at the bottom. Okay. You know, net profits, net profits can vary anywhere from on a worst, worst case scenario, make anywhere between 1300, 1500 bucks in a month. Okay. So, not gross, so my gross revenue is 30,000. Yeah. And my net I'm talking, is your net pro is from $1,300 up to six thousand okay. dollars the variable the variables in your net profit will be maintenance days on the road that's it okay and how much is a typical truck trucks can vary anywhere between 60 to eighty thousand so 60 to eighty thousand I was thinking they would be in the hundreds of thousands I'm thinking the, big trucks so we're talking about, so we are talking about the same trucks, but thing about me, I don't buy 2022, 2023 trucks. There's no need. There's you don't no need, need, you don't, you don't need to buy a 22, 2023 truck, nor one, they're overvalued. Number two, uh, they have the same risk on the road. Right. They have the exact, they have the exact same risk on the road. If you get a 2018, 2019, 2020 truck, you know, you put it on the road and you do a routine maintenance, it's going to perform the exact same way as that 22, 2023 truck, except I paid one third of the price that you paid. Okay. So when it comes down to profitability at the end of every single month, 
who's more profitable. Yeah, absolutely. But how long, how many, how, how long will my truck be on the road before it's unprofitable? Correct. Great question. So it'll be about three to five years, three to five years for your truck to be on the road performing. Okay. Uh, and it maintained very well, which we do. We have our own mechanics, our own yard. We have routine checks on all of our trucks after 11,000 miles. You know, we, we maintain our trucks as well as you can. The only way that, you know, something can really go wrong is like if something happens that no one could predict it. Okay. So my, so my investment with you is 60 to 80,000. So no, your actual investment with me is 85,000. My investment is 85,000. So I get a truck and I get a business that's going to yield me about 1,200 to 3,000 a month. Is that right? 12,000 to 6,000 a month. 1,200 to 6,000 a month. 1200 to 6000 a month. And so when we do our numbers, we're looking at an 8% to 40% return. Is that correct? An 18% to 40% return. Oh, 18% to the 40% return. It does. But, and so 18% is if something went wrong with the truck. Correct. Correct. And what am I, what am I asking you I should be asking you? <laughs> Uh, when do I, how, how fast can I get started? <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, no, so I, well, I mean, if I did want to get started, uh, what, what would that process look like? So very simple. If you were, if you were to want it, like you were like looking to get more information, it's very simple. All you got to do is just go ahead and book a call with our team. Yeah. Our team will go ahead and give you a breakdown. So every single month I turn in our new P and L's to our sales team so that they can show those live updated P and L's to anybody who is interested, because I'm not trying to sell you on a PL that I got a year and a half ago. You know, I'm trying to go ahead and let you know what's the reality of trucking today. You know, and and what are we actually performing at? What are the actual results we're creating today? So what they're gonna do is they're gonna walk you through that. They're gonna show you exactly, you know, what are the deliverable? What are we doing for you? Who's who's your point of contact for every single part of the business? Um, how do you manage the relationship? You know, what's the process? Uh, What's your role as the investor or the cl- the client inside of our company? You know, and then you'll also see um, how do you receive payments. Then you'll see the breakdown of the payments. Then you'll see exactly how it gets everything gets laid out for you. And then after you see all of that, can you say, "Hey, look, let's go. I'm interested." Then we'll, we'll send you a contract where everything is contractual. Everything is you can see all of our obligations. You can see everything on paper of what we're responsible for, what we're not responsible for, what are the liabilities, what are not the liabilities. Um, and then boom, once you sign that agreement, we begin your onboarding process and the magic begin. So who is this business for? Who is this business not for? This business is not for the individual who is honestly like, has, you know, all of them, oh, and you're going to get all the money in your bank account and just like literally throw it at this project, praying to God that this works. No, this is a business. This is someone who has capital in the bank. And it's just looking to diversify a bit, you know, it's looking to go ahead and just build another stream of income that they don't really have to touch. They don't really have to look at, but you know, that can be profitable. Um, you know, I have clients that vary. I have clients that, you know, use their 401k. I have clients that use, uh, just savings that they've had for the last 15, 20 years. Uh, we have clients that are lawyers, attorneys. Uh, we have clients that are doctors. We have clients that are business owners. We have clients that are just uh, foreign investors. We have clients that just want to get into the trucking industry. We have fleet owners, people that own three to 20 trucks that just want to onboard their entire fleet with us for us to manage and just take their day-to-day business and convert it into a passive income asset. Um, we get all kinds of clients. Okay. So what keeps you up at three in the morning about the trucking industry? Nothing. My team is built for that. There's nothing. There's there's no rest that I, that are I, I, worries. I don't keep. I don't keep. I don't uh, manage the day to day operations. I have a fully equipped staff that can manage uh, the business twenty four seven. They are on the phones whenever needed at all times. Um, as far as like news about the industry, don't get me wrong. I'm a student to the game. Um, I'm consistently educating myself on the updates on fuel, on the updates on rates, on the updates on brokerage, on the updates on, you know, where the market is shifting to. But let's be real for a second. You know, 
the trucking industry is not going anywhere. You know, this it's it's the backbone of the United States. Seventy percent of the goods in the United States has traveled through transportation and logistics. Um, if the trucking industry goes down, we got bigger issues. Oh, uh, so there's not a, there's so, a, a supply demand issue as far as no. I buy a truck and now I can't get any loads up. Put it this way: I could put ten thousand trucks on the road, and I wouldn't even make a dent in the need of this industry. Yeah, and then what about because there, the need is so high? Until we get uh, automated trucks, yeah. The, but I think I, the I think driver that, risk is is an issue, isn't it? Oh, I no. To be to be honest with you, it's it's really not. If you hire the right drivers, people with experience, people that have great driving records, like they're right, you you mitigate your risk, you know, as much as possible. But let's be real, there's risk in everything we do. You know, you can get a rental property right now, put a wrong put the wrong tenant in there, and wake up to a disaster. You know. Anything has risks, but if there's no risk, there's no return. All right. So, Antonio, this has been very enlightening. <laughs> and uh, what does Rivix mean? So, Rivix is uh, is is kind of personal. You know, the reason why I created the brand Rivix is because I always wanted Rivix to stand for you know Revoto, meaning me, everything that I enjoy, everything that I envision, every dream that I have, and then X is the multiplier, meaning everything that I touch will multiply. Everything you touch with a little play. I, I love that. So Antonio, we're at that point now in the podcast and your mentorship about this industry has been fantastic. But I want to ask you another question, which is what is your tip of the week? A website, a resource, a book, something that's actionable for the auto pass and listeners to go improve their businesses, improve their lives. What do you got? Sure. Yeah. So two things. I'm going to give you two tips. All right. Number one is go to our social media. Visit rivexautomation.com and don't even book a call. Just go look at the videos that I post for our audience and community every single day and find out, you know, that there's value there. There's there's business knowledge, there's trucking knowledge, there's, you know, information that can help you. All right. And then once you're ready, once you understand the value that we provide as a company, then I want you to go book a call and find out what we do here at Rivix. The worst thing that you can do is be uneducated about what we do. And I just want to make sure that everybody goes and gets educated understand what we do get your questions answered and this is for you great if it's not for you still great welcome to the revex community all right and then number two uh, i'm right now about to go ahead and do an event july 6th to july 7th out here in south florida called minions and trucking it's gonna be a live event out here in south florida and i want to make sure you know anybody who's interested go to our social media and inquire about it you know go ahead and find out for yourself what we're doing here, the guest speakers we're bringing. And if you're interested in trucking, that's a great place for you to start. All right. Very cool. Very cool. Well, my tip of the week, before I give it, is uh, it's going to be really interesting. But <laughs> I do want to uh, talk about our sponsor, which is Flight School. Learn how the next 16 weeks can transform your life. Go up that mountain of land investing quickly, safely, and efficiently. Don't have to deal with renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents. And have Scott Todd, who's done it thousands of times, teach you. So go up that mountain with him, take you there, and start building that passive income with no headaches. Learn more, go to thelandgeek.com forward slash training, thelandgeek.com forward slash training. And I know what you're thinking. Well, what about the flight school tuition? It ain't going to cost you nothing. Guaranteed, you're going to make back that investment 180 days or less. Just show us your work. So my tip of the week, I actually, uh, because Antonio talked about uh, Rivix, so go to rivx.co as well, but I'm going to give another tip. So I have uh, a very big problem with checking email, and it's been a problem for a long time, and getting these dopamine hits. So <laughs> check out this app called ClearSpace uh, for the iPhone. ClearSpace, it will allow you to take a deep breath before you open an app. You can't just reflexively check email or social media. It'll, it'll have you do a breathing exercise. It'll give you a little quote. And then you can only check it so many times a day. It limits your time on it. So uh, it just allows you to be more intentional with your time, your attention, your relationship with your phone. Check out ClearSpace uh, the app. Hey, Antonio, are we good? Yes, sir. All right. I want to thank the listeners. Remind you, the only way I'm going to get the quality of guests like an Antonio Rivoto is if you do three little favors. Follow, rate, review the podcast. 
send a screenshot of your review, support at the I'm going to send you a signed copy of Dirt Rich. All right. Thanks, everybody. Awesome. Let freedom ring. Thanks, Antonio. Appreciate it. Thanks for listening to the Art of Passive Income podcast. Are you ready to learn how you can start building a passive income without renters, rehabs, renovations, or rodents? Schedule a free consultation at thelandgeek.com forward slash training. Let freedom ring.